Hi, this is Jim with AskMyOnSiteGeek.com, bringing you another quick tip video. Today's quick tip video descri describes uh, recovering data from a failed hard drive using some, some software designed for that purpose. First, let's look at the hard drive and see what it consists of. This is your typical desktop hard drive. It's a three and a half inch format. I'll explain that in, in just a minute. You've got three main components with the hard drive. First, you have the drive electronics. This has a little circuit board with logic designed to control the hard drive and you know, just keep everything working like it should. You also have inside a stack of aluminum platters that have an iron oxide coating on them. It's the iron oxide coating that acts like um, a magnet. It, a lot of tiny magnets that store the data. And then you have this read-write head, one on top, one on bottom, actually um, two read-write heads for each physical platter. And those are moving in and out as the platter rotates. The rotational speed of the platter will range from 4200 RPM on a laptop drive, either 4254 or 7200 RPM on a laptop drive, to 5400, 7200, all the way up to 15,000 RPM on desktop drives. Typically the 15, 10 or 15,000 RPM drives are reserved for server applications. But this is your typical three and a half inch you know, drive. Three and a half inches refers to the diameter of that aluminum platter. So you've got the, the aluminum platter with iron oxide and these read-write heads that are essentially floating on top of the, the platter. They're not physically touching the platter. They're in very close proximity. So as you try to read or write from the computer, you're pulling, you're moving this head in and out as the hard, as the platter rotates. So there are several failure mechanisms. You can have the drive electronics fail, in which case you're not going to have a lot, you know, virtually no success with the software. You can have the read-write head fail. You can have uh, in the event that the read-write head actually comes in contact with the platter, you'll have at least localized damage on the platter. If you have enough contact, you can actually damage the read-write head, in which case you'll have very little success with the software. If you have localized damage, in other words, if the read-write head touches in only certain spots, those spots become damaged and you won't be able to get data from those. That's the best scenario when the software will be a benefit. It obviously, it depends on the failure mechanism as to the effectiveness of the software. In the event that the software will, it can get data, it'll be uh, hit and miss in the event that this, you have more damage to either the disk and or the read-write head the likelihood of getting data with software goes down considerably in the event that you can't get data off with the software uh, you typically have to ship the data out to a data recovery service and there are several around the country but they're actually taking things apart in a clean room environment. They'll take it into the clean room, disassemble it, and physically pull the data off bit by bit. It tends to be quite expensive, and um, their ability to get data is actually, actually quite good, but it is uh, rather expensive. It all depends on the value of the data. The takeaway from all this is back up your data. It's a whole lot easier to prevent the problem 
than to recover once you've experienced the problem. You can see other quick tip videos at callmyonsitegeek.com. This is Jim keeping track of your IT landscape so you don't have to.